it could be just you with one man, it could be you with lots of men. Carl Beach, also known as Nick, was eventually proved to be a malicious fantasist and jailed for 18 years. But at the time of these interviews, the Metropolitan Police believed his lies. They and I believe what Nick to be saying is credible and true. So yes, we do believe what Nick is saying. Prominent men, including Field Marshal Lord Bramall, former head of the army, and former Home Secretary Lord Britton, were falsely accused of abuse and torture. Former MP Harvey Proctor was another victim. His home was unlawfully searched. When I was in the Member of Parliament, I fully supported the police. It is horrifying what has happened at the Met in these last five years or so. The damning report by former judge Sir Richard Enriquez listed 43 principal police failings mainly caused by poor judgment and a failure to corroborate or investigate allegations and a culture that victims must be believed. The most significant error, that search warrants were unlawfully obtained after police officers gave misleading information to a judge. It's taken three years for the Metropolitan Police to release this full version of the Henriquez report. Plenty of time to formulate their response. I am deeply, deeply sorry for the mistakes that were made and for the ongoing pain that these mistakes have caused. I promise we will do all we can to prevent them happening again in the future. But calls for Steve Rodhouse, the commander of this investigation, and other officers to face further investigation have been dismissed. In a statement, he said, I understand the criticisms that have been made of my decisions during these investigations, but I acted with the best of intentions. Nevertheless, I sincerely regret the damage that the investigation caused to the reputations of those who were accused and for the hurt felt by their families. Labour's deputy leader, Tom Watson, was criticised for putting further pressure on officers, but the bulk of criticism was reserved for the police themselves. They're pretty devastating. They confirm what was, I think, already absolutely obvious, that this police investigation was flawed from start to finish. Uh, the way in which the police hoodwinked themselves into believing the credibility of Mr Beach is simply astonishing. Police even failed to check the information on Beach's computer, instead believing his lives and wrecking reputations at the same time.